Green Bay Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers is going to have a good year for sure. Uh, yes, he lost his top receiver, Devontae Adams. He also lost another receiver, Marquez Valdez-Scantling. Um, and yes, the receiving core has been struggling in training camp. They've been struggling with their new receivers. But Aaron Rodgers is still going to put up really good numbers and be productive. And I, I, I do wonder how is he going to handle having, a, having an extremely young and inexperienced group of receivers. I'm not really sure how he's going to handle that. But he's going to make it work. And, you know, they brought in Sammy Watkins. He's a veteran. Aaron is coming off back-to-back MVP awards. He's a future Hall of Famer. He can elevate his receiving core. I'm excited to watch Aaron Rodgers this fall. But here's the real question for Aaron Rodgers, if you're a Packers fan. Is this the final year before Aaron retires? He turns 39 in December. And while he shows no signs of slowing down on the field when you watch him play, I want to remind you that when Devontae Adams left for Vegas, he said that part of his decision-making process was, and, and, you know, the reason why he went to Vegas was because of the uncertainty he felt about Aaron Rodgers' future. Is this Aaron's last year? That rumor that came out about Aaron Rodgers potentially retiring or wanting a trade, that really, really damaged a lot of stuff for the Packers. I think it hurt recruiting. I think it hurt a lot of stuff. And I, you know, on top of uncertainty about whether he wants to leave the Packers, could this be Aaron's last year in the NFL? Could he retire just out of nowhere? I think that's that's the kind of move he would make is just peace out and say sayonara forever. If this is Aaron's last year in the NFL, then that would make this his final year to have a shot at the Super Bowl. And unfortunately, this is not the best team Aaron Rodgers has had in recent years. Also, it's kind of weird. Matt LaFleur, the Packers head coach, keeps praising the backup quarterback and former first-round pick, Jordan Love. I don't know what that's about. Is Matt LaFleur trying to boost Jordan Love's trade value? Or is he trying to make fans feel a little more hopeful and better in case Aaron Rodgers does retire after this year? I'm not really sure. But Aaron is a total wild card. It seems like he can play forever, but he also seems like he's just bored of the game and wants to leave any time. It's, it's, I'm not really sure what to make of it. What I will say is that Aaron is the best thrower of the football planet Earth has literally ever seen. And I encourage this. Enjoy the show. Aaron is going to be a blast to watch this year. Who knows how long he's going to play. You know, when I was a kid, my grandma was really old and she was going to die. And every time I left the house, I gave her a big hug and I said, I love you so much, Grandma. And in my head, I'm saying goodbye to her. So the day that I came back to my house and my grandma had passed on, I had been preparing for it for a long time. I'd said goodbye every day. We don't know when Aaron's going to move on from the NFL and say goodbye. I encourage this. Just enjoy the show. Who knows how long Aaron's going to play. Enjoy it. And appreciate it because I have no idea what's going to end. And I think watching Aaron Rodgers and getting to watch Aaron Rodgers is a really special privilege. I just want to make sure I enjoy. I believe this year Aaron's going to play at a high level. He's going to be a blast to watch. At some point, though, the Packers are going to hit their ceiling as a team. Green Bay is not going to win the Super Bowl this year. There's too many question marks on this roster. And... I, I'm happy to be wrong about this, but I think Aaron can only carry them so far as we've learned in recent years. you got to have a lot of help. And uh, I just, I don't think Aaron is going to lift his team up to win a Super Bowl. I just, he's had opportunities that hasn't happened recently, nor should it be all on him. I mean, he, he needs help, but frankly, this team this year, the Green Bay Packers, they don't have the help required for him to win a Super Bowl. And uh, I, it's just not going to happen. He's going to have a fun, exciting year. It'll be fun to watch, enjoy it, record games, Sit down every time you get, have some notches, enjoy watching Aaron Rodgers, but I do not expect him to win a Super Bowl this fall.